Hello everyone, FunshotX here. Iskandar has done it again. He's created a new mod pack. It's in early stages of development, but it is an entry for Gem Pack 2. And I wanted to take a look since he sent me in an early release candidate of the alpha. Uh, he's also just put it on the Curse Launcher. And since I haven't really shown an overview of the Curse Launcher yet, I wanted to start with that really quick just to make sure everyone knows that it is available and there are uh, lots of mod packs you can go get from the Curse Launcher. So this is Atonement by Iskandar, uh, a magic-based um, questing mod. It doesn't use HKM, but it does have kind of a questing theme uh, where the objective is to cure the world of Taint from Thomcraft. And it's got a lot of integration with Thomcraft, Botania, and some other things. So if you go to curse.com, or if you just go to Google and search the Curse Voice, you'll get the Curse Voice client. And from here, this Minecraft tab is not there at the very beginning. It's a little difficult to figure out how to get Minecraft. <laughs> but what we're going to do is click on that gear there and go to uh, settings. And then go down to plugins. And this Minecraft thing will be on no. Just swap it over to yes. And they're going to get this Minecraft stuff where you tell it where you want it to go, all your Java settings, all that kind of stuff. And then this Minecraft tab will appear here. And you're going to be on this page here. And if you click this Browse FTB Mod Packs, you're going to get all the packs from the Feed the Beast launcher, pretty much. Uh, so you can get all of them and play them in this launcher. Or you can browse all Mod Packs. And as far as I know, anyone that wants to can submit a Mod Pack to CurseForge.com. And through some kind of approval or, or, or moderation, it will then appear in the Curse Voice launcher. So that's pretty cool. I might try and get Magic Bear up there. That's uh, yet to be known. I'm not sure if I can... Um, I still have to research on if I can do that. But anyway, so you're going to find a ton of mods in here that I've never even heard of or seen before. So you might want to might want to check them out, find them. Here's a lot of the FTB ones. And if you just type in here either Iskandar or Atonement, you'll get Atonement Sins of the Past. Right now, if you click on it, then you get kind of an overview. Um, he's going to say that you know health regen's turned off, game mode is hardcore. Um, you're going to want fast craft because there's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> um, there is a way to win the pack. There's basically an achievement set that when you beat them all, you win. It's for Jam Pack 2. It's still early, so there's some bugs in it. Um, it's supposed to be on hardcore, but it doesn't really enforce that. And also, there's a little performance bug or memory leak, something like that. He's also on a very early version. You can see it's 0.01e. Uh, e. <laughs> And I know he just told me um, he's submitting 0.02 that fixes a number of bugs and balance issues. So you might want to wait just a, a day or two, give it a, uh, give him a little bit to upload that. Um, but we're going to go with 0.01e for now. I'm not going to do a full playthrough of this. It's still way too early in the alpha to try and do a full Let's Play. I just want to show what it is about and get you guys your interest peaked and, and help his out because he is a great mod pack developer. I really like his, his packs. If you didn't know, he created Crash Landing. I didn't say that earlier, but... That's who, the Iskan, uh, who this Iskandar is. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so once you get that, um, you're going to click on, um, there's going to be a download icon here, so, or install right there. Since I already have installed, it's grayed out. And then you can just go back to your homepage and hit play, and it's going to bring up the vanilla Minecraft launcher, and then you hit play again, and then it'll actually bring up Minecraft. So let's create a new world. We're supposed to make it in hardcore, and let's just call it Atonement. Sins of the past. How's that? All right, and more world options. Let's do a seed generator. We'll do sins of the past. If you want to play along with my seed, <laughs> turn your structures on. We'll type default. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Hardcore. <laughs> Here we go. All right, guys. So the world's gonna generate, and like crash landing, you have a lot to do on your first day if you want to survive. This is a very difficult, hard pack, hardcore mod pack. So expect to die the first couple times until you get it right and figure it out. Um, there we go. <laughs> the sky is gonna flash sometimes in the um, when you first start out, and it's gonna take a little bit of time for the mod pack to load up. All this tainted goo is everywhere. You can see it's all purple. Yuck! But we've got to get going. We start with some um, gear. We're gonna get some uh, leather armor, some torches, some apples, a couple stone items, and the things are going nuts. We're also gonna get our first ethereal bloom and a golden laurel clown. I didn't start with that last time. Okay, I don't know what that does. I, I don't remember getting that the last time. Um, anyway, so always, 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 we're going to get wood. Got to get wood. <laughs> Never stop getting wood. You're also going to want to break um, grass. You can see I got some Batania um, 
stuff there. Oh, don't let the monsters hit you. They hit really hard. You're going to see my... Well, my health will not regen. My armor, on the other hand, will. But I only have three and a half from leather armor. Three and a half armor hearts. So once your armor's gone, then your health starts depleting. And then your health doesn't come back. So make sure you never lose all of those yellow hearts. If you want to stay healthy. But the mods, the mobs in this pack are very dangerous. They're the tainted version. And especially the chickens, because the chickens like run like a million miles an hour. They will kill you very quickly if you're not careful. Okay, so I'm going to cook, uh, get a bunch of wood. I'm going to get uh, try and get some seeds so I can actually grow some wheat and live. <laughs> yes, starvation is a serious problem, um, just like in Crash Landing. Um, I'm also going to want to try and get a few saplings uh, because we're going to live underground. There's a lot, way too many things up here on the surface that can kill us. So I haven't really found a successful strategy that works for the top. Um, I did make a, manage to make a good hut at one point that kept all the mobs out. I kept the the taint away using my Ethereal Bloom, um, and it was going pretty well. Then along came a hurricane and destroyed my entire base. <laughs> so it's not easy. Also, mobs can dig in certain instances. So um, they, if you build your house out of dirt, they're just going to come right on in and say hello and kill you. So that's your goals. Get some um, some wood. Get some saplings, get some seeds, get some um, uh, floral fertilizer, which also comes from... Oh no, see what did I tell you about these chickens? That's okay. Oh, and then if you pick up those, get rid of them. They hurt. Because they like decompose. And then they give you taint sickness or something like that. Also, don't walk on top of these. They can damage you. A little fibrous taint. Um, what else? We got a sheep coming. These sheep aggro from a million miles away as well, so... <laughs> It's if they see you even close, they will come for you. Got some like wolf's bane or something. I'm also gonna want to get a little bit of sand um, so we can have some glass. And uh, what else are we gonna want? Oh yeah, if we can get some sugarcane for paper, that would be very helpful as well. Get some of these saplings. Oh, got some seeds. That's good. That is very good. You don't want to face me, sheep. <laughs> and it's funny, the first game, version that Iskandar gave me, um, it was even more difficult. And those sheep would just basically one-shot you if they attacked you. So he's he's even calmed it down. It's still difficult, but it's you can just know that it's not as bad as it was <laughs> when it first came out as far as difficulty. Okay, how's the sun? Oh, I already got a skeleton. He does not have a bow, though. Apparently some skeleton... Ah, these things are bad. These are little taint particle things, and I've got to fight a pig at the same... Oh, I've already lost health. I'm losing health. Because i got a pig attacking me from below, and the particles attacking me from above. And they're hard to tell, like, how close they are to you. Okay, killed it. Now don't pick up that thing. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go get some sand. I think, this, I think we're doing okay on the sun as far as daytime. Those little uh, particle things, they come out of these spawners, but they look like the rest of the taint, so it's hard to see them. You kind of just have to watch, and if you see one of them appear out of nowhere, then there's probably a spawner close by. Okay. This stuff, the fibrous taint, which is this stuff here, it spreads. Oh, no, two chickens at once. This is going to be... Oh, chicken and a creeper. Do you see what these chickens do? Oh, my goodness. The creepers don't... They, well, they do explode, and then they, like, spread taint all over the place. So, yeah, they're not fun. I'm just going to let him hang out over there while I get some sand. <laughs> and now I have no idea where he went. Yeah, he went flying over there. Okay, how much wood we got? We need more. We need, like, get a stack of wood. Get a stack of wood, get a few seeds, get, um... And then get on the ground. <laughs> Don't push it. Because you want to have a good base where the mobs can't get to you, where the tornadoes can't get to you. Uh, one thing you're going to want to look for when you create an underground base is a water supply. Because we're going to be one of farming underground, and it's going to take a little while for us to get the iron necessary for a bucket. And we probably don't want to have, we want to come back and gra grab more water. So if we can get two water sources up there, um, down where we're, our base is. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a witch's circle, and... 
I tried to live in one of these once, <laughs> and this is where I, I learned that mobs can dig, because they dig, dug under it and attacked me. But there is a dispenser here. I'll take I'll take its stuff. There's also witch spawners in here, so I, if you're going to live there, you better get rid of them. Okay, this actually looks promising. There's like a natural cave here. Natural caves are great. Oh, see, there's, there's one of the spawners right there. I saw him come out of there. Let's try and kill this thing without taking too much health, and we'll d disable the spawner. This thing is actually a mob. You gotta attack it with a sword to kill it. <laughs> it just blends in as a block. Isn't that cool? Alright, we killed it. Nope, another one spawned. Do we... Get, okay. Just making sure we didn't pick up any of those little taint bubbles. Can you just die, please? There's no sound either that you've hit it. <laughs> nope, nope, don't want that. Go away. Here we go. Down into the cave. We start with eight torches, but you notice there's dynamic lighting, which is pretty cool. Uh, that does add a little bit of lag, but uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, this is a pretty decent cave. I want to get rid of these guys because they will spread, and pretty soon my entire cave will be covered in it. Um, I can also prevent that. Well, prevent that spread by putting down the Ethereal Bloom. So, yeah, this is a great cave. This is the first time I've found such a good cave. Wow, look at this. Huge. I'm going to live here. Yeah, we're definitely living here. Cool. Come here. You don't have a bow. Okay. Not afraid of you. Skeletons without a bow. <laughs> no danger whatsoever. Okay, let's put some light down here. Wow, this cave is huge. Okay. I'm going to want to block a bunch of this off so mobs don't come surprise me. But, yeah, this is this is really decent. I'm loving it. Okay. So we're down here. We don't we don't have any water, but we do have quite a lot of iron. I might be able to craft a furnace, cook some iron, and go get some water before it's nighttime. So I think that's the first thing we're gonna do is get a furnace. Okay. I like this little crown that I've been given. <laughs> so let's put that down there. Let's craft our furnace up. And put that there. I'm also gonna want to grab a piece of dirt just somewhere in here and plant my ethereal bloom. Um, it doesn't have a huge range, um, but what it'll do, it actually is like on a vertical, so it'll go all the way up pretty much to the surface and clear the taint out. It'll also start, stop this stuff from spreading. It actually might even clean it up. Let's just leave it there and see if it cleans it up. Go, go, go. And you can chop this down and move it, so if you get like encroached with a bunch of taint like coming down this hallway, I can move it over there. Okay, so let's go get that iron that we saw. Where was that? That was down the entrance here. Oh, I should just grabbed it while I was here. Copper. There's the iron. Okay. There's some iron. Come on, three. Yes. Enough for a bucket is all I ask. What was that? <laughs> Why did that creeper blow up? Why are creepers blowing up? Oh, I know what it is. There is a TNT spawner. Okay. We got to watch out for that. It's basically a spawner that spawns TNT. You can recognize it by seeing a, um, you will see a uh, pressure plate on the ground, and right underneath it will be a spawner, and that basically just spawns live TNT. Okay, so you need to go in here, cook you up with a piece of the coal that we got. Oh, I'm loving that there's a good supply of coal. You know what? This is a great seed, guys. If you can play this seed and find this same ca cave, you're going to be ahead of the game. Having a cave that's already dug out that has a ton of resources is very helpful. Now, one thing I want to do is definitely block off a lot of these entries, so we're not surprised. So let's just block them all off for now. We'll go uh, explore them later. I might want to put a torch down just to try and keep mobs from spawning too close to my base. Okay, I need another something there. Yeah, that's safe now. Is this whole thing... Wow, yeah, there's there's so much. Nope, this is spreading. I want to get rid of it. That one is a lighter color, so I think that was in range of the Ethereal Bloom. Put the rest of it. Once you get rid of all, it shouldn't come back. Okay, so let's get more cobble. And I think we're, we're ready to go. We've got all this blocked off. Okay, nobody can... One more, and oh, we're safe. There we go. Now I can see through, but I... nobody can get me. Okay, 
We got our bucket. Definitely a good use for that. Let's get some sticks to mix with some of this coal to get torches. Oh, wow. We are doing great, guys. I'm going to come back here and venture out here to get some of that water. Dynamic lighting is going to be tough on some computers, uh, but there's a hot key to disable it. So just look under the key configs and uh, turn it off if your computer can't handle it. That's one of the reasons he recommends FastCraft, I think, because dynamic lighting is just one of those things Minecraft doesn't handle very well is a ton of lighting updates. All right, where is this water coming from? Okay, close enough. And look, I've even got a ton of different Thomcraft shards growing. All right, so let's get a infinite pool here, just in the corner. And I don't have to go leave my base at all, right? To venture out to mine, that's about it. It was nice that this water supply was just right here. You will find a lot more water underground than normal in a normal vanilla world. I'm not sure what mod does that, but you'll you'll find some water. Don't worry about it. All right, uh, put it there. There we go. Okay, so finish blocking this off. Uh, the next thing we want to do is probably get into some mining. So let's get use this dirt right. Or not mining, farming. <laughs> so we'll take all this dirt off the wall. And let's just go ahead and make a farm right here. Okay. That should be enough for now. Um, okay. Oh, we got a, a cow spawned, apparently. This is going to be my mob farm, my mob grinder right here. <laughs> Hopefully the mobs will just come pay me a visit and I can kill them. The tainted versions don't drop. Like, he won't drop leather, so I can't really kill them for their stuff. But Skeletons and zombies and creepers, the normal ones, will spawn. All right, so food is going to start being a problem. How many seeds do we grab? We got two seeds, but we do have some bone meal, so that'll help. Uh, I'm going to need to get a hoe. Time to farm. Okay. Put our seeds down. Oh. I'm so used to... <laughs> have regrowth where I can just right click on it oh you can right click on it oh nice oh beautiful that's what we want to see cool so we've multiplied our seeds a little bit good use of bone meal in the early game um, I'm gonna throw this on the ground apparently no I didn't mean to do that let's frame this in I remember that's there. Okay, so we got food source good. We've got, um, we're protected. The next thing to do, I guess, well, let's look at the quest. It's not HQM, but it's got this thing called Simple Achievements. And this is a book. These are the, the winning conditions, basically. Complete, complete all these, we win. We're going to want to do some farms. We need a 4x4 four four plot. So just 16 blocks of wheat, carrots, potatoes, and melons. Pretty easy. A ranch is a little more difficult. We're going to need to find tainted animals, put them in a jar, and clean them to normal animals in a uh, mechanic that Iskandar has labeled the Thomic Dishwasher? Something like that? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I know there's a picture of it here later. But we need four cows, four sheep, four pigs, four chickens. We need a horse and a wolf or a cat. Um, here's the restoration part. So we want to um, do a 4x4 four four chunk, so that's 64 by 64 uh, square of taint, remove taint. Um, that would be way too many ethereal blooms, but there are other methods we can do that. Uh, grow four ancient trees and grow four silverwoods. Um, we want to get some villagers living in a, in a village and protect them with an iron golem. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that that's our quest objectives. I'm not sure if he'll add more in the newer versions of the uh, um, alpha or a beta when he does get to a beta. Here's the nice, beautiful graphic that he had uh, cre created for this. Welcome to Atonement. You guys can read that. Um, 
So if you uh, press H, it'll bring up the Encurtown screen. Press the library button at the top, it'll give you all the game um, in books. Okay, let's try that. H? Nope. <laughs> um, what did I rebind that to? Encurtown, where are you? Inventory, uh, inventory to each journey map. Miscellaneous. Minecraftopedia, maybe that's it. Comma. Got node tracker in here, cool. Let's try comma. There we go, and carry it on, okay? Hit library. Now I've got all the books that come with the, the mods that are in here. So witchcraft, Thaumonomicon, book of biomes. What's that? Oh, that's from witchcraft as well in the Lex Mechanica. So look, you don't even have to have the book in your <laughs> you don't have to make the book. Isn't that awesome? Botania achievements, so we can see the achievements we need to do. Um Let's go, how do we get out of this? Oh, that didn't work, all right. And we can go to Thaumonomicon, and we don't even have to make a Thaumonomicon, we can just start reaching stuff. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> no bookshelf and wand for us, we can just we can just start going. Okay, what else is there? Um, in the Britannia, yeah, that's pretty much it, okay. Um, what else does this book say? So, this takes, takes us to talk about how we clean the taint so we can get the ethereal bloom we can get pure nodes um, we can get uh, silverwood saplings to get those or we get thomic terraforming which does like a whole chunk here's a thomic dishwasher we put one of the tainted mobs in a jar <laughs> clean them up and then we can release them back into the world we also put a peck in a jar apparently botania Obviously, he's going to talk about using, using clay conies to get clay, jade or amaranthus to get more flowers, the orchids to get more ore, euclidaisy to get free thomic uh, points. Uh, or no, that's uh, ethereal essence. So you don't have to kill wisps to get it. Uh, Whisperweed is the one that gives you reference. And taint thistle takes taint and converts it into mana from Britannia. Awesome. I think I want... If I play this pack, I'm going to go that way. That's how I'm going to get all my mana in Botania. So I'm going to try and create as much taint as I possibly can. <laughs> and just have a ton of taint thistles. We'll see. I don't know if that'll work. But Witchery, he hasn't finished the book on that yet. Um, there is some stuff with, with uh, Botania to get knowledge fragments or, or reeds. Um, or more floral fertilizer. Here's the recipes. Those don't haven't changed. Yeah, so it's a work in progress. But he's got a lot of it already going. I mean, he's got to, right? Because uh, Jam Pack 2 doesn't go for very longer. The other mod in this game is Clockwork Phase. I think this is in... Uh, what, what mod pack? Hold on. Infinity? Yeah, I think so. I think it's in the Infinity mod pack. Um, but I haven't played with it, so it's interesting. It's kind of like Steampunk and time travel so yeah, that could be cool <laughs> but i'm not going to read about worry about that much longer okay um all right so since i'm not going to do a full let's play on this i'm just going to take a cut here and try and get a little further into the pack and come back and just wrap it up so uh, i'll see you guys in just a little bit well guys i gotta say this is game is very very challenging um the taint spread is ridiculous um, you've got to keep it under control, or you try and go mining and you just get trapped in an area like this. Um, I got, I had six chickens following me, and I ran into a bunch of taint tendrils, and I had no idea these things could teleport or, like, creep through the taint, so they would just follow you through the taint. Oh, I was a goner. I did manage to get all iron gear. I had a bunch of thomic stuff. I had some botania stuff started. I had just mined gold, so I was on my way back to get thomcraft. Uh, and Botania further along. Um, but just think of this pack as magic mods and extremely difficult as far as things want to kill you every single second of the day. You're never safe. Even in your base, you're not safe. <laughs> so um, give it a try. He's still going through balance changes and, and you know updates. So you know if, it, if you don't like it now, then wait you know, a week and, and try it again. Uh, maybe uh, it'll be um, fixed um, or corrected for difficulty <laughs> i'm not sure how difficult he wants to make it um as as he tunes it we'll find that out but anyway this has been uh, iskandar's atonement if you guys like the video hit that thumbs up if you want to see more subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode and uh maybe when this one comes out a little bit further down the road we'll give it a try as a, an official let's play uh i'll see you guys later it's been fun x bye